at the Harbay Studio in Madison with the free agents Ben and Reed, CheeseheadTalk.com. Before we talk about what the heck we're going to do about the Milwaukee Brewers, Reed, let's talk about how the heck we're going to enjoy them when they win one-third of the time with Yahara Bay. Or just get through summer, right? Isn't that just what it's all about in Wisconsin? When's training camp start, Exactly. Right? Now, now we're there? Are right. we there? So sometimes you watch the Brewers and it's a vodka loss. Sometimes it's a gin loss. Sometimes it's a brandy loss, whiskey. Limoncello maybe on a real refreshing loss. Is that a moral victory but a loss, Limoncello? Yeah. Is that what that would be? I think that would be okay. good. The point is that different losses have different alcohol accompaniments. And Yahara Bay has got the full line for you to enjoy this Brewer season, you know, maybe it's leading into the game. Maybe you think it might be a gin loss and then it becomes a vodka loss. Either way, they're so premium. I think it's okay to mix and match a little bit if you know what I'm saying. It'll cushion the blow. Go to right. the website, uh, yaharbay.com. You can link to it through our website right now. See us talking in the little picture window. Go straight up. Right. If you're on the free agents page to so the banner at the top, link to it. Uh, check out all their products and their story. It's a beautiful local Wisconsin homegrown story. YaharaBay.com. Uh, available throughout South Central Wisconsin. Absolutely. Even the bottles are beautiful. I'm serious they're about pretty. that. Yeah, they're very pretty. Yeah. Just like you. Hmm. Not like the Brewers. Uh -uh. They get shut out. Okay, it's 40 innings in the last 40 innings as we hmm. speak here. Uh, two runs. Right. And that was a 2-1 win. Is that the silver lining? The 2-1 win because Giovanni Gallardo uh, became an ace suddenly on Saturday night? Well, Ben, I guess to me it's a pretty simple recipe for success for the Brewers. If they score runs, they win. At least that's what the last four games have shown us. <laughs> yes. If they don't score runs, they do struggle to put a victory they together. They do struggle to get in the uh, what the, the left hand side, right. as our favorite basketball coach likes to say. Yes. Yeah. They they are. Uh, see, I think they're in this spiral. This is psycho baseball psychologist Ben. Mm -hmm. I think they've slumped into a spiral because this is what happens: a snowball effect happens in mm -hmm. baseball a lot of times. And when you when you blow so many leads like they have, yeah. Uh, I think it, you know, it's getting on everybody's, getting in everybody's head. Right. And so now they can't hit because the offensive guys put too much pressure on themselves. I mean, slumps happen through a season. I understand. Well, and the Brewers but like to is, slump right away. Yeah, this That's is their atrocious. Thing. So okay, so they've lost, they lost three of four to the Padres, and they lost two of three to the Pirates, and then they got swept by the Cubs. Right. So you're talking about them yeah. winning two of their last. Quick math is that uh, seven? No, nine games. Is Ten, that true? Because the uh, the Padres a four game series. Oh, it's terrible. And they're one and eight in their last nine, and they're just—I mean, it's disgusting, it's awful. And the only good news in the whole thing was that uh, Yovani Gallardo pitched like an ace on Saturday night, and Trevor Hoffman went one, two, three. And Yovani hit like up. an ace too. Yeah, he hits. Yeah, he does. Apparently. But the rest of the team is just in huge slump, and the pitching's been bad all year. And so the question is, what do they need to do now? I'm talking personnel-wise, or management-wise, besides Doug Melvin. Well, okay, <laughs> hold on. You're getting a little ahead of yourself. You got ants in your pants, as they say. Well, it's it's right. crisis mode, is that, it not? Well, what what the Brewers do last year? They were terrible till May, and then all of a sudden they turned things on, right? And then they all they had like one of the best records in the major leagues in from May, May through yeah. middle of June, and then they yeah. slumped again, and they never got it back. So at least let's give them a second month to figure this out, because you told me. In the beginning of the season, early. don't worry about this lineup. This lineup can score runs. I think they can. Well, they're not scoring runs. I still think their big problem is pitching. Exactly. I think they're slumping right now. Everybody slumps. Yes. I think they will. Okay. Else? There's too many good offensive players not to score runs. Right. It's pitching. Okay. It's so all me, pitching. So you need to get a little bit better pitching. You let Rick Peterson work his bio rhythms and his gypsy pitching magic. Who is this Reed Roberts? Where are you, where are you coming from? You're you're talking about letting things go. You're talking about letting things work themselves yeah. out. Yeah, because if this there's wasn't you, well, I'm just saying, Ben. If they're still as crappy in June as they are now, then you can start getting serious because you got all the all star stuff. I disagree. What, eight, seven, the, seven, the three, trade five, deadline oh, is what I'm saying. Eight seven seven three five zero oh, ninety seven thirty two. That's the Cheddar line. What are you going to do now? Call and tell me your uh, opinion or rant about it on the Cheddar tube. Fielder has very little value right now. That's not true. He's not hitting real well. Yeah, but that's not. He's You're not going to get for him what you could get for him if he was hitting 350 well, gonna, and seven home runs. They're not going to trade him in May. I get that. Well, what do you want to do then? But the trading deadline will be looming July 31st. Are you talking about and, bringing up prospects? Well, not not offensive. No. Do you have any line? actual solutions, Ben, or are you just <laughs> freaking out over okay, there? Okay, here's here's what I would do right <laughs> okay. now. Today, tomorrow, today, All right. today. If I'm Doug Melvin, yes. I will eat the $12 million because you're already – you're not only eating it right now, but you're regurgitating it because it comes out in so much horrible crap that uh, hurts the team. Did mm -hmm. I describe that aptly enough? No. Depending on what about, you digest, you might only have two, three million left. I'm talking about Jeff Supon. Okay. 
Okay, so what's the better scenario here? You pay him $12 million, every time he pitches, he hurts the team. Or you pay him $12 million, and you just say, <laughs> rid of you. Get out. We never want to see you again, so we can't hurt you anymore. What's the better solution? Uh, I would say the second one. Solution B is the better solution. Do you think there's any way you could get some, like a 50th no, round draft pick? No. You don't think any, and you pay, but you pay the like, contract. That would be like trying to get a 50th round draft pick for me because that's how good Jeff Supan is right now. But He's you pay me. the contract, so you give up $12 million. Like, you're not telling their team to pick up any of it, but you at least get something in return. Yeah, who's going to – I don't know who would make that move. Maybe well, what you do is you trade. Want him on your here's team. what you do: you trade Jody Garrett for a 45th round pick, <laughs> yeah. and then you trade Supon to that team to get Jody Garrett back. <laughs> maybe, maybe that would be. Why would that make any sense? I don't ever? know, okay. but but managers just, you know and GMs are there? weird. You were just trying to rip on Jody Garrett. That's well, what you were trying to do. Is that such you a just, bad idea? You just tried to create a scenario to uh, dish, uh, dis, dis Jody Garrett. Sometimes it's easier to trade your own crap for your own crap, but you got to get rid of your own crap in the first place. I'm saying, kind of like garage I'm saying sale get rid of Jeff Supon. Bring up Mitch Stetter, who has proven that he can do things in the major leagues. Okay. A left-handed guy out of the bullpen. You need every inch of pitching help you can get. You need every inch of your bullpen you can get. I, I know this move isn't like, oh, suddenly they're going to go 30 and 10 over the next 40 games. No, no I, I get that. But you need something. This guy is, is a, at least a little bit of a, a you know, cement weight on your ankles. Mm -hmm. You've got to just jettison him. He's not helping. He's not going to help. He's he's finished. It's but, over. He's but, but, can you send Doug Davis with him? Maybe. I still believe <laughs> Doug Davis will find a way to become average. The average Doug Davis that we know and love. Has I he really believe he will. Six innings combined yet this year? Because I mean that was his thing. Yes, he had a start where he did that, and I was like, here he is. He's back. Six yeah. innings, quality start. I think it was, you get two runs. Good for him. And he's been looking like he's going to be decent for you know what the San Diego game on was it Friday night? Mm -hmm. He looked like he was going to be have a good start, and then it caves in. I, I don't know either. Yeah. I don't know how a guy who who you know is not he's not lost it. He can still has the same awesome eighty five mile an hour velocity he always had. Yeah. How he suddenly becomes you know he basically that, head you know, case right now. He signs with the Brewers. I, is that the thing? That happens? Yes. Is that. Yeah. So to me. The big question, the big thing to do right now is get rid of Jeff Supan. I think you still have to give Hoffman his chance because he's the all-time save leader, saves leader, and and because he was so good last year, and I don't think you can lose it that much in one. And game. he has a change up back. His well, change up is it really back, back. He's gonna strike out your lineup. <laughs> if he starts singing like that, he'll just scare the other lineup. <laughs> uh, and, and and you you do because it's right. still early, and it is. You give your pitching staff a chance to at least stabilize a little bit that's all you can do and then and then you talk about trading prince fielder in june yeah and you really do that point because this is the time you're going to get the most form and if 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 you don't show any promise of being better next year what is you, there what any promise right now do you see anything about this this whole I do. organization i see at least that makes you think it's gonna I get see better at least that that randy wolf and doug davis should come to average giovanni gardo has a chance to be great Manny Parra, you got to think somebody's going to get to him and have him figure it out. That's pitching. Okay. Hitting, I mean, they're, you got they're the gonna Escobar. Put the numbers. They're going to put up the numbers. You got the weeks. Well, the course of a season, Fielder's not hitting at all yet. He's going to hit. They're going to put up the numbers. And they'll be average. <laughs> then they'll be hope. They'll probably tease us just enough to hold on to Fielder. And then. What would, what would be a good record at the end of May for this team? They're 10 and 15 now. Is that is that really how good they're doing? God, it seems <laughs> much it seems worse. worse, doesn't it? I don't even look at the standings uh, anymore. End of May, so you're talking about uh, what twenty five more games now? Yeah, Ugh. back to five hundred. So they do they go fifteen to ten? Yeah, if they get to five hundred, all right. I'd be just I'd be dancing on on peanut shells. Yeah. at my favorite local restaurant. I don't even know which one that is. Where the free agents better peanuts? Read. Apparently, we can throw them on the floor. around. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah. Uh, the free agents Ben and Reed. Jesus Somewhere that serves Yahara Bay. That's my favorite local restaurant. Any oh, one of them. Boy, I missed a chance there, didn't I? I got it. I got you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the rest of the website for more opinion pieces on the Brewers and our blogs. It's not just here. We blog and then we post other opinions. Ben's going to start doing... You do, too. Ben's going to start actually doing a game-by-game -game blog. <laughs> yeah. Live, real time. <laughs> real time. I'm just going to sit there and blog. Yep. Boy, that guy stinks. He's terrible. <laughs> Can't you hit? That, that would be very depressing. Uh, shout out to depressing. Or the free agents better <laughs> read. Jeez, at duck.com.